In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you a very simple and yet profitable trading strategy using the Bollinger Bands indicator. Okay, so this video is all about the Bollinger Bands indicators and you can use this strategy to trade any market of your choice. And when it comes to trading crypto, you can use the same strategy that I'm going to teach you in this video to trade um, be it futures trading, spot trading, or even P2P trading, you can leverage on this simple and yet powerful indicator to make some profit and decisions in the market. So if you are new to the channel, as always, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. Please support us by subscribing to the channel. And if you want to learn more about crypto, join the Telegram community using the link in the video description. Okay, so in case you don't know already, the Bollinger Bands is what we have here on the chart. Okay, these three lines plotted on the um, chart here is what we call the Bollinger Bands. I'm going to show you how to add this up to your chart. Okay, this can be assessed whether you're using the mobile app on any exchange. Okay, and then it can equally be assessed on TradingView. Currently, I'm using TradingView, so you can do this. I'll show you how to get access to this when using um your exchanges this indicator are available to any exchange out there that you have access to okay so the bollinger band is an indicator or a tool that is used in technical analysis to help us understand an asset price movement okay they are plotted as three lines which is what you see right here on the chart okay so we have the first line here, the middle line, and then the lower line here, okay? So the middle line here, this one you're looking at right now, is a 20-day simple moving average, or in short, SMA. Why the upper line and then the lower line are lines plotted at certain distance away from the middle line, as you can see here. And the distance is based, the distance between this upper line and the lower line is based on the assets volatility and is two times the standard deviation of the asset price over a given period of time when you set the bollinger band at one standard deviation around 68 percent of recent price movement fall within the upper and lower bands but with a two standard deviation roughly 95 percent of recent price moves are contained within the bands and talking about the um, standard deviation if i over to know understand what i'm saying if i over over the settings of the indicator here this is the bollinger band so if i click on this setting icon here on the input tab you see here where it says standard deviation okay this stands for standard deviation if i set this to one and click on ok you see that just as i explained um recently over 68 percent of these okay fall outside of you know the upper and lower line but if it is on the two which is the default setting okay standard deviation you see that all of this 95 percent about 95 percent of the price move fall within okay um the upper and then the lower bands so you want to leave the settings as default when using this indicator don't change anything personally i don't change anything except for the colors okay i can come in here and adjust the colors to suit what i want but for the input, I don't do anything here. So just leave it as default and just click on OK and use it the way it is. So basically, the way this indicator is used is we have the middle band, we have the lower band, and then we have the upper band. So when the asset, okay, when a particular asset is close to the upper band, this upper line here, it suggests that the asset may be overboard, which means the price may be too high and then a price correction could be coming soon just like what you see here okay there was a correction and when the asset price is close to the lower band as you can see right here it suggests that the asset may be oversold which means the price may be too low and a price increase could be coming soon and that is exactly what happened here okay so if we look at this um, um, indicator or look at the price, you see that price has actually been obeying all of these rules of overbought and oversold most of the times. OK, so that is basically the way we use this indicator called the Bollinger Band indicator. So John Bollinger, the creator of the Bollinger Band indicator, recommends using two indicators next to the Bollinger Bands. 
that are not correlated with each other. For instance, um, using the moving average divergence convergence, which is called the MACD, or using the relative strength index with this strategy. Personally, what I do is I accompany this, okay, this strategy you see here with the RSI indicator. All right, you can use it in combination with the MACD indicator or the RSI indicator, but this strategy that I'm actually sharing with you is using it with the ROSI just for confirmation. So to add up this indicator to your chart, all we need to do is to head over to the indicators tab here, click on it, and then here you can type in the Bollinger Bands, okay, which I already added. So you just click on it and add it up to your chart, and then the next will be the RSI. So if I just click on uh, type RSI here, you see um, this one that is called the Relative Strength Index. You can just click on this icon to favorite it, okay? So click on it to add it up to your chart, and this is what it looks like okay so to adjust some settings on the rsi all i need to do is to hover over it and then click on this setting icon i'll go ahead on the um, style tab i want to uncheck the rsi base uh, ma so uncheck that and then for the rsi itself i want to change the line to white okay then i i don't actually need this background here so to take off the background i'll just see, see where it says rsi background field go ahead and check that and that will go off then for the middle band the lower band and then the upper band i'll just change all of this to line okay and then the overboard and oversold level are calculated at 70 and um, you know 30. So what I normally do is for the upper uh, band line, okay, I'll change this to green. When the market is overbought, then for the lower band, I'll change it to red, okay, when the market is oversold, which is what you see right here, okay, appearing here. If you don't see this, if you want to increase the opacity, you can actually make the line a bit bolder, okay, by using a ticker one here, okay. So I just click on that and that is it. So whenever this... um. So the way we use a combination of these two indicators, okay, is whenever you see the market, all right, um, here when the market is oversold, you see that the candlesticks are trading at the lower band of the Bollinger Bands, and then the RSI is equally indicating that by trading below the 30 line, which is this red line we just customized now, and then when the market is overbought, okay, you see that happening here on the mark on the chart as well okay the once this um rsi trades above the 70 level it means that the market is overbought and price correction could be coming any moment soon all right so this is how you can actually use this bollinger bands whether you want to trade sport you want to trade p2p you want to trade features you can actually use this simple strategy to determine when the market is overbought and when it is oversold and to know when to enter the market and make some profit and you can use this on all time frame okay this actually works on all time frame and to actually show you that this is equally available on your exchange so if we come up here to um, the buy bid exchange i already have the indicator added so to add the indicator just click on the indicator tab here and you can type and add the indicator if i want to add the rsi just go ahead and type okay and then click on add and that will be added to the chart so to, to the same thing i showed you just click on the setting go to style and then change the color to what you can see if you want to make it thicker make it thicker and click ok all right so all of the exchanges you have you have access to all of these basic technical tools okay the bollinger bands the rsi the macd you all have access to it you can use it directly on the exchange or use trading view just like i showed you i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up once again if you are new to the channel support us by subscribing to the channel and if you don't have an account with any of these exchanges already like bybit and other exchanges i have links in the video description you can sign up and get access to all of the welcome bonuses that are awaiting you that is it for this video and i will see you in the next video